Hi, my name is Oscar and I'm the CEO of Libra Education. At Libra, we work to support students, hopefully a little bit like yourself, to achieve your dream places at university. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about something that's very close to my own heart, and that is essay prizes. Now, believe it or not, a few short years ago, I was sat where you are now, thinking potentially about the future and about what I, want my, about what I might want to do. I was maybe starting to think about how I would achieve it. How would I actually prove that I should get that place at university over anyone else around the UK? Well, if you're sat in that similar circumstances, I'd like to tell you that essay prizes can help you on that journey. They can help to provide evidence that you genuinely are the best candidate for that position. Now, thinking back again to when I was sat in your position, if you'd asked me what an essay prize was, I would have said, I don't know. If you'd asked me why I should do it, I would say, I've got absolutely no idea. And finally, if you'd asked me how to do it well, I would have looked at you with a blank face. Now, I'm sure many of you are a bit more advanced in your preparation than I was. But if not, today, myself and my colleagues are going to help to explain the answers to those questions, hopefully give you a helping hand en route to your university applications. So let's start at the beginning. What is an essay prize? Well, fundamentally, it is what it says on the tin. It's a competition that is run by many, many different organisations. They're typically targeted at students in year 12 and year 13 as a chance to explore subjects and to provide evidence for your university applications to include in UCAS. That's the competition. What is the essay part? Well, as you can imagine, there's essay prizes for English, for history, philosophy, the sort of subjects where you can imagine writing long essays. You can imagine needing to do research for them and come up with ideas and arguments. But essay prize are, are wider than that. They include subjects like biology, chemistry, physics, medicine, maths, subjects that you wouldn't typically describe as including essays. What we mean when we say essay prizes is a competition that involves some research and some writing that proves to admissions officers at universities that you have what it takes to succeed at university. What exactly that process looks like, my colleague's going to cover with you. But you should start off by finding an essay prize and looking at the question. The questions can sometimes be quite abstract, and it's certainly not something that you would see in your typical A-level syllabus. That's what makes them so impressive. It will require you to identify some reading lists. Now that can be anything from a traditional book, to a newspaper article, a podcast, a television series, even Netflix can be your friend here. So don't think that you have to keep yourself to a narrow brief. Wherever you take your influences from, is completely legitimate. Once you've done some background research and reading, you'll start to form a plan, the ideas that you want to discuss. And finally, you'll write them down in an essay of typically between about 1,000 and 2,000 words. Now, this isn't your standard school homework. You might do a school homework in, uh, in a couple of days or maybe even a couple of minutes if you've forgotten a deadline. This is going to take you a bit longer. You're going to have to do that research on something you don't know about, and you're going to have to form an elegant argument. Now, when you submit this prize, it's not important to win it, although, of course, that's, that's a good thing. The most important thing is that you enter it. What you need to do is put yourself in the shoes of admissions officers at universities. If they see a student who is bothered to enter a competition like this, and can mention in your personal statement just one or two of the ideas that you discussed, they're going to see that you have enthusiasm beyond the syllabus, that you have passion beyond the classroom, and that ultimately you should be the candidate to give that place to. So I'll pass over to my colleagues now. They'll take you through the next steps. 
and I hope this is the start of a great journey that leads at a successful university application at the end. Thanks.